Hello and welcome, beautiful soul fam. Um, feels so good to be connecting again here. Um, be completely honest, I have been feeling very introverted <laughs> is the first word that comes to mind and really trying to honor that piece of myself. Um, if anyone's been following along in this journey, uh, if you tune back into the how to read your human design chart, um, we actually go through my own human design and everyone who listened would have learned that I'm a manifester to four line, which is the hermit opportunist is what the two and the four represents. And the hermit for me is so damn true. <laughs> um, yeah, and that comes in waves for me, that, that hermit piece. Uh, I have always said that I've always been like an introverted ex extrovert, but I feel like the introvert piece in me is a lot stronger and hence that being leading with the two of and the four piece of my human design. Um, and I noticed that for me, like when it is time to recharge, when it is time to um, relax and when it is time to just like really be with myself, um, it is so super, super apparent that I am a hermit <laughs> and it just comes to me like I don't really want to do much and it's taking a lot of learning and deconditioning to be okay with not doing anything um, and really taking care of myself. It's taking a lot. <laughs> Even now, like I have the quietest voice in the back of my mind telling me I'm not doing enough. Uh, I'm doing too little. I'm lazy. I'm all of these things, but that doesn't feel true to me. You know, like we all, we all have varying um, amounts of energy and we all have our own requirements as an individual. And that leads me to today's episode. Um, I've been really wanting to speak about authenticity and what that really looks like for us going through this society and the world and with our family and our loved ones, especially like how it actually looks like to the self. And it's been really interesting for me to journey this piece and this is kind of where my own perspective is coming from to share with you guys and how authenticity looks to me and how I'm able to share that with like my clients, my friends, um, my loved ones, any, anyone that is caring to listen. <laughs> and yeah, it is a journey. So like, I mean, if you think about how we come into this world, you know, we come in as loving, beautiful babies, right? We, we come in um, wanting the love from our parents. We come in um, truly feeling that we can express and play and love and just be, right? And as we move through that, you know, like imagine back again, like trying to stay in this Im imagination of you as your inner child, you know, you as a youth. Um, what were you like back then? You know, like, can, can you really imagine that? Like for me, just to kind of like play this like image, imagery to try to help you get into your own imagination. Um, I was so connected to animals my entire life. Like I've always felt this deep connection and um it just it felt so beautiful and, and authentic really and I always like and this is going to sound a little off the wall but you know what this is speaking true to myself and this is an authentic authentic episode speaking about authenticity so I'm going to speak my truth and as a child I always felt that I could I just knew what animals were thinking and feeling I just knew it you know and I would go around and pretend that I myself was some kind of animal, like a dog or a horse or just like whatever, and just really playing. And at some point in time, as I'm really just in it and just like feeling so good, enjoying and just feeling good, you know, like in my body, just honoring what I wanted to do. Someone along the line comes and says, you're being weird. <laughs> Someone along comes and says, that, uh, like, what are you doing? That's not right. You know, don't do that, you know, because of this, you know, and that and blah, 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 blah. 
and that plays a toll on you you know like every, you hear that countless times when you're just being and you're, you're just doing something that feels true to you in that moment and someone comes along and tells you hey you know don't do that that's not cool that's, that's bad that's wrong blah 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 uh, it, it really gets to you we have that happen to us so often as a child and it's usually from not only people like our friends but family members people that we trust and love to guide us and move us through this life um, people that we look up to for safety, for shelter, all those things. And when we have that told to us by people we put on this, even like a pedestal, I would almost think, just people we look to for safety, it creates a distrust in ourself, thinking that when we were doing this thing that felt so good and true to us in that moment, told us that it's wrong or not good or whatever. Then we're like, okay, well, why am I going to trust this, this feeling inside of myself that feels so good? Like that must not feel good.